Diamond Chet Holmgren is him. Jet Holmgren is obviously going to be crazy. I mean, the guy's seven foot, seven six wingspan, sadly injured, so this may be the best version of him that we see for a little while. But has obviously his signature Chet Holmgren jumper on the normal timing, default big layup package, some pretty decent dunking animations. The only thing that's a little bit tough is his dribbling's not the most amazing. But if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly seen Chet, you know, cook up like that anyway. So I don't really think it's too big of a deal. But his sentences are looking pretty fire. Before we fully get him set his badges, though, a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account grinded, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. All right, so now we can flip over chat and check out a nice 89 offense defensive overall. That's kind of a lie from his 92, though. A little weird, at least to me. Either way, Chet is looking absolutely amazing. Um, he does have a great post game, 85s across the board, has a 76 driving layup, has an 83 mid range and three point shot with a 79 free throw and 80s in both standing and driving dunk. Uh, now, the playmaking is not the most amazing, only a 69 ball handle and pass accuracy. That's not exactly like goaded, but it's all right. A um, bit of a 92 block and an 87 into your defense, though, it's definitely super solid. 75 steal, 69 perimeter, has an 89 in both rebounding, which is super, super nice. 75 speed, 67 speed ball, and a 75 acceleration and sadly 45 in the strength that's not exactly ideal which definitely means chat's probably better suited as a power forward and a 69 lateral quickness um what is it a speed again 75 that's definitely not too bad uh but the tendencies though are really where it kind of looks pretty decent because he has a 99 contest shot and 99 block shot sadly that 70 foul tendency may sneak up to hurt him a little bit but it's not too bad and he does have a total of two all of fame badges catch and shoot and chase town artist two pretty solid ones um just one extra compared to bull bull seven gold badges like Aerial Wizard, Dream Shake, Post Bin Technician, Green Machine, Guard Up, Volume Shooter, and Pogo. Six, some decent ones. Uh, guard Up, pretty overrated, but in general, pretty good. Uh, we got 10 Silver Badges, Drop Stepper, Rise Up, Claymore, Corner Specialist, Needle Threader, Post Blame Anchor, Anchor, which is great to have, Workhorse, Box Out Beast, and Rebound Chaser with two Bronze, and Interceptor, and Post Move Lockdown. Now, because he is an Evo, you can't really add any badges to him, which is a little bit tough, but I would say the badges he does have, the stats that he has are pretty good. I would highly recommend some sort of um, boost to maybe the strength if you could, and maybe the speed a little bit, um, especially because I think he plays a bit better as a... Um, you know center than a power forward just because of some of that speed but i'm gonna be running with the four anyway because of bull bull and we're kind of just gonna see how it goes so either way without further ado let's hop right to the gameplay with diamond chat holmgren all righty we got darren williams and fred jones lebron james tyson chandler running that court a lot um and kd so i'm running bull bull and chat hunger at the same time i kind of want to just see what uh the cheesy duo would uh kind of do because they're shades of each other but we don't win the jump ball so that's you know not the most amazing start Oh, okay. Look at that. He's a little still. I didn't mean to immediately pass it to Chet, but I will take it. I will kick this one over to Bull Bull, and then we can throw that over to Chet, who definitely has a slower jumper than maybe I was anticipating. It was a hectic one, but look at Chet running back door and getting the dunk. The 75 speed, now that I'm running around with him right now, actually, it doesn't feel too bad, honestly. <clears throat> Okay, look at Chet Holmgren just running, soaring through, honestly, and getting those. We are going to call for a little, you know, pick and pop action with Chet. Oop, there he goes, off to the corner, and I don't have the meter off, which is a little bit tough. Been rocking with it. Uh, but either way, oop, Chet, take a little filet finish right by him right there. Guys of this side, like seven foot with like a 75 speed, feel so much faster than like a guard would at this height, which is crazy. And look at him getting out in there and contesting shots. Oh, and some boards getting snagged right there. Okay. Uh, he's trying to get a little uh, charge, and oh, Chet's got too big of feet to take a shot right there. Damn, all right, that would have been a highlight, but it's all right. All right, right there we go. Good little board. He is definitely trying to get some of these uh, easy and early steals. Oh, passing it to Chet. Catch and shoot, and look at that. Turn the meter off. First shot with Chet is an absolute green bean. Hall of Fame catch and shoot is definitely insane. Oh, oh, ooh, that should have been a little pluck steal for us. That is actually unfortunate. Hey, but Jerry West just standing in the way just enough. He really is trying to get some of these bump steals out here, but now he's got Fred Jones of all people who is not who you want on. Look at the big man duo, Chet, down to Bull Bull for the dunk. And Chet having himself a nice all-around game, 7-1-1. I mean, that's what you want. Oh, all right, he's taking some scary passes without bailout working for him. And, oop, Chet's going to be grabbing that. Give me a little speed in the dunk oh my lord i shouldn't be getting that up because i feel sick but jet is going crazy nine points right there the dude is having a good time 
All right, he's still flying and still uh, full court pressing like crazy. Bull Bull catching this one inside. And I'm going to call for Chet to just run to the basket. Maybe a little back door behind him. Look at that. Catching it right over KD for 11 points. We had a bad start to the game, but he has severely picked it up. Oh, there we go. Stealing the inbound passes with Bull Bull because you know what? He just, he can. Uh, and now we got this one, little hop. What is he doing? Which is just uh, leaving Gordon Hayward wide open, catch and shoot. Oh, not too money. And that actually should have been a board for us. All right, right, there we go. Long rebound is ending up into the hands of Bull Bull. He's still doing his like whole full court press and then trying to draw charges. But look at Chad Holmgren just getting inside in the dunk. This one is probably chugged up. We got an eight point lead, 15 to seven, and Chad's just having his way. Right, still got it into the full court press, which is perfectly fine, especially when you got a center who can run the ball like this. Okay, look at the little big man duo. Kick it back out to Bull Bull. Catch and shoot is money. Green for the two of them. Bull Bull 5 3 and 2, and Chet 13 1 and 2. I mean, these guys are just taking over. All right, there we go. Bull Bull playing defense and his attempt to uh, paint mash right there with Tyson Chandler, who, oh my God, look at Chet Holmgren having absolutely no energy. Let's get a little cross quick and then the dunk. A little disrespectful to score that late, but either way, uh, Chet, yeah, I mean, look at this guy. He is just too overpowered. Um, and again, I'm feeling a little bit sick, so I don't want to like fully hop, you know, into a second game. So we're just going to show the stats from this one. Chet, um not a great picture that they got of you right there but 15 points one rebound two assists no blocks or steals um we left that to everybody else it was seven to ten from the field sadly one of three from three but we found out it's because i didn't even the meter off i turned it off and boom instant greens with chat home grid it definitely has a a slower release with it being on the normal timing i mean but we're talking about a power forward who can literally do everything chat home grid is seven foot has a seven six wingspan has a decent enough jumper a 75 speed at his size and he was playing the power forward was really good he has silver anchor as well to play the defense inside he can rebound he can finish he can play make even a little bit he's got two assists along with bull bull and jerry west he equaled their point guard um in the amount of assists so i definitely think uh chet maybe a little bit better than some people are giving him credit for um at least in that category so all around definitely a absolutely amazing card let me know what you guys think about chat down in the comment section below i know that playing him at the center is definitely going to be a little bit tough he has the size and like the badges to be a center but he doesn't really have the strength uh so be careful on it um just because i think even with any sort of coach boost and stuff like that if i show it to you right here we have a uh crazy bad 52 strength uh so definitely be careful running by the center is gonna be tough i didn't really have too much of a problem the only thing i'm gonna run into if you're on as a power forward is that he's gonna be a little slow so just you, know, you think about it take into consideration either way i think chat's an absolute beast he's super fun and him and bull bull just as a duo together was absolute cheese and was just it was a bunch of fun so i uh, like the video if you guys did enjoy comment below what you guys think and subscribe if you are new to the channel hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video